All right, everybody, welcome back to Simulation Station. We got a brand spanking new game test, gameplay, or play test, excuse me, for Creature Lab. Creature Lab. Let's get going. Pretty cool little game. Picked it up yesterday. You can get this, uh, you can uh, apply to, to join the play test on Steam. And uh, it's worth it. Some of these uh, playtests you get are really, really, really fun. This was just, this one's one of them. Okay, welcome to Creature Lab. This tutorial will help you create incredible elixirs and magnificent monsters. Press the left mouse button to continue. You can move around by using the WASD keys and interact with, object, uh, with objects by clicking left mouse button. By pressing the escape button, you can change the settings or quit the game. This is a storage room. Any ingredients or bodies you acquire will, will be placed here. Here is your laboratory. We use elixirs to, uh, we use the, the Almembic, Almembic, I'll get it out in a minute. To mix two mixtures together and make something new. Analyze their properties by using the microscope. Uh, grow new body parts by using the incubator. You have to walk downstairs to perform more radical experiments. This, uh, this operating room has the equipment to make new creatures, exchange their abilities, and even change their limbs. Once you're satisfied with your creation, you can place any mutant in these stasis chambers. This allows you to use them on various missions. It's really tough to read with the camera moving around in the background. The office is mostly a front to nosy government spies, but one desk is special. It is hidden. It has a hidden monitor where you can plan your missions and send your monsters to gather essential ingredients. Right. Start the experiment. Go to your storage room and get the ingredients you need. There's one. Now pour this ingredients into the uh, al alembic. Remember, guys, this is playtest, so it's going to change quite a bit, I would imagine, towards uh, out in full. Place an empty flask under the amembic and then mix the ingredients. There it is. Find a syringe to take a sample of the mixture. First thing I'm going to do is take it over here. Place the sample under the microscope and begin examining the substance. Use the scroll bars to analyze a sample. The bar on the left will help you see your progress. Low complexity, high reactivity. We're going to call this Mixture One. You have just created an elixir. Elixirs are created by combining several ingredients and are used to create mutagens. Take your elixir and create the mutagen by mixing it. Mix two elixirs.
place the sample under the microscope again in the mutagen research. complexity, high reactivity. So we're going to call this mixture number two. All right, take your mutagen and pour it into the body chambers to start creating your first mutant. back up here I guess and we get our first body ah oh, sexy chick cool put the test subject in the body chamber Okay, use the panel on the body chamber to start the mutation process. Okay, we need to fill it with the mutagen and initialize. Okay, mutation complete. Make sure the creature is sedated and open the chamber. Take the mutant holder. Okay. She's in there. She ain't very pretty, is she? Lord have mercy. Okay, use a laptop connected to the incubator to start incubating the new limbs. I think that's up here. Alright, select the limb to be incubated. Use the button on the top to select left or right limb and the number of portions in each dose. Left side shows you how many doses of mutant is needed to incubate the selected limb. So oh, if that's a leg. Alright, that's the default limb. Those improve speed and fighting ability. Great fright at fighting improvement, claws, great improvement, and combat allows for ranged attacks. And that takes four. Well, let's do that. Three and 
four. Okay, there's four. Start the process. Dang it. Your second limb in the incubator. I uh, gotta go out this way, don't I? Yeah. Found somewhere to put this thing. There we go, there's one. Place the mutant on the operating table to begin the transplant process. I'm gonna get this one out. Alright, use the laptop to replace the mutant's limbs with those from the incubator. Alright, use the appropriate buttons to detach the selected limbs, then remove them from the table and place them and replace them with the limbs from the incubator. Finally, attach the new limbs to create the powerful mutant. Alright, we want to remove and move. Start process. Alright, now let's, what's going on? I'm sure it's me, guys. I'm just not doing something right. Mm -hmm. now, do I need to put them over here? Or? Guess not. Alright, this is the third time I've tried to remove them, guys. Remove. There we go. I 
know why that took three times to do it, but it is what it is. Open this secret chest to reveal the hidden game game map. Okay. There she is. Wow. This is the city map. You need to send monsters to the city to gain any resources that you need. Exclamation points mark districts that are too dangerous for you to attack. Click on a district without any warnings. This is the only one. The panel on the left side displays relative populations of this district as well as, an expe as uh, expected ingredients and possible military units. Select the mission button. You need more test subjects for your experiments. Pick, uh, pick the Acquire New Bodies mission. Pick the Acquire New Bodies mission, then select which monsters which monsters you want to send out by clicking on an A plus to their portrait. Some monsters perform better than others. More monsters will bring more resources but also attract more attention from, from the military. Once you pick your monsters, click on start mission. Start the mission. Mission successful. So we've got some new bodies. Right, return to your laboratory. Continue your experiments. Okay, great job. Before you make a second mutant, it's time to learn uh, learn a new potion brewing how it's time to learn how potion brewing works. Go to the laboratory and analyze ingredients there.
Each substance has different molecules which determine its properties. This is an ingredient, uh, this is an ingredient, so it only has a single molecule. Uh, you don't know which one it, see, you don't know which one won. It could really, I say, it could be any out of the ones listed in the properties window. Okay. Not generally my genre, guys, but it's you know it's, it's fun from time to time to kind of switch things up a little bit, do so. This is Pusherine. Lord have mercy, Pusherine. Uh, it also, uh, see, it is also an ingredient. Notice that the that symbol. Uh, symbol listed as one of the new possible molecules looks like the opposite of the other symbol that was on the other one. You saw it in the last ingredient. See, at the moment, it's unclear if the symbol is really represented in the ingredient. To find out, you need, let's see, to find out, mix the two ingredients in the albumin. Now mix a previous research substance. Okay. a sludge don't worry this is good news it means that the two ingredients are each other's opposite by this deduction you can safely assume that they contain this one and this one respectively of the ingredients had let's see if the ingredients had two different molecules they would mix and produce an elixir not a sludge sludge only forms if you try to mix the opposite molecules you can find more ingredients in this storage room. Mix them together until you produce a mutagen. Mutagens require at least four molecules, and one of the four molecules must be an attractive, or, or I'm sorry, an activator. You can, let's see, can you figure out which symbol is the activator? Experiment until you create a mutagen. If you need a hint, check the whiteboard in the office. Okay, so we don't want that. That is, that just sucks. That's sludge. So it's not ever going to mix. Let's go look at the whiteboard in the office. Office is over here, right here. All right. Let's go produce a mutagen. Not quite sure how far you can get into this, guys, but it's pretty cool. I just wanted to get show you a little bit of it. Let's try to see if we can make a mutagen. Oh, you know what we didn't do? I didn't test it first, did I?
because we need to find something that doesn't have these two in it. There's those two ingredients that we don't need. And it's not gonna, we're not gonna know till we analyze it, so. I want you to clean up this lab a little bit. That's definitely an elixir. You know what? We need to rename that, don't we? Hillock. Well, we gotta find something for long. Let's clear this up a little bit. We gotta make something before long.
may have already done this. I don't remember. I actually created one yesterday. Probably work a lot better if I'd pay attention to the molecule symbols. All right, we've done it. Excellent. Now use what you've learned to create a second mutant. Uh, if you want, you can replace the mutant's limbs with new ones from the incubator. All right, guys, I'll stop it right there. It just kind of gives you an idea of what the game's like. Um, it's not really for me, but, you know, it's an enjoyable game. I'm going to keep it in my repertoire, and we'll hit, the, we'll hit it from time to time, see what it's like. Hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about it, guys. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Now remember, this is Mutant Lab, or something like that. Anyway, bye.